Hello, we're Djibouti Industries, makers of the Missing Link. Today we've got the Missing Link attached to a Moog Slim Fatty. We want to tell you about a new pro application we came across. Um, it's called TB MIDI Stuff, uh, if it's for the iPad, and it's also called TB MIDI Stuff Tiny for the iPhone. Uh, some cool things about this uh, application are you can actually develop your templates directly on your iPhone or iPad itself. And also it has dedicated support for um, the Missing Link which makes it a lot easier to set up these templates. You don't have to do any uh, custom messaging. All right. So first off, uh, we're just going to do a little refresher on how to connect to your missing link uh, from your iPhone. OK, so to connect to the missing link, first we'll go to Settings. We'll go to Wi-Fi Networks. We'll see the missing link network. Click on that to set it to a static IP, 192. Dot one sixty eight dot one dot sixty nine subnet mask is two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero and then you can connect to the missing link. Now we'll go to TB MIDI stuff and start with the application settings. All we have to do to set up TB MIDI stuff for the missing link is click the enable switch and then also specify the missing link as a MIDI app. So now let's test that out by pulling up a piano keyboard. Works. Okay, so let's create our own template now. Let's go to the page manager and add a new page. Okay, let's add a drum pad. Um, we can copy, paste a couple instances of it here. Um, now here we can set a note. Um, let's set this first one as C3. Uh, let's set the next one. As A2. And let's set the third one as G sharp two. Hit done, save the page. So um, that's enough notes to make a decent bass line. Let's say we want to um, be able to uh, change the filter as we play. Let's edit that page and we'll add a vertical slider over here. Um, now let's, uh, instead of touch input, let's use the Y accelerometer to adjust that slider. Um, and we'll have it send a control change. Uh, I wanted to adjust the filter cutoff on the Moog. Um, so that's uh, CC number 19, I see on the instruction manual there. So I'll go to CC 19. Uh, I'm going to adjust the minimum maximum values a little bit because I don't want super extreme values. Hit done, save the page, and you'll see that when I move the phone, that it, it adjusts the filter for me. So if I play the bass notes, 